How does a deer run away from a lion? It sees it, hears it, smells it. Yes, yeah, sees it, <laughs> hears it, hears it <laughs> smells, smells it, right? Yeah. By using the sensory systems, correct? Yes. So human being is the same. When I, let's say, okay, I have a five sensory system uh, idea. So when I smell someone, maybe he didn't take shower for days, <laughs> or and when he is drunk, he moved closer. Okay, I want, I want to stay away from him. Okay? I don't want to get engaged, right? Remember the first stage of self-defense? I don't want to engage. I smell, oh, oh, trouble is here. I can walk in. No. Okay, trouble is there. We walk away. And then we can use the auditory system. When we hear something, stay away. Self-defense. More importantly, we, in, our, in martial arts training, we train our visual system. What does the visual system do? To collect visual information. When I see him coming, I see him, I do something. That's, that's the visual information I collect. But in a short distance, you now in the Wing Chun, that's what Wing Chun is known for, is this close quarter combat martial arts, self-defense system. He attacks, if I use my visual to catch, it's too, too, too late. He attacks, I know he's attacking, I cover the box first because it takes a very short time to hit me, punch, in a very short distance. Outside may be easier. Inside, I want to cover first. Now I'm collecting tactile information. When he moves, I can feel it. In Wing Chun, we have something called sticking hand practice. It's solely about tactile, training our tactile system. So this is constant, constant force right now. When he moves, I can feel it, I respond. Uh, did I see it? No. Because visual is kind of slow in a short distance. We want to use tactile. When, whenever you're ready, you, you, you attack me. Do you understand? You want to attack me again? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm collecting tactile information here. All right? Here he moves, I can feel it. If I'm not, he. <laughs> <laughs> It hit me. It's hard to tell. Understand? Okay. And that's the fourth um, sensory system. The fifth one is called proprioceptive. Proprioceptive? Have you heard of this before? Yes. What is, what is that? Knowing where your body is. Where your hands are that's why it's easy to teach at Princeton. <laughs> they know everything. Oh, okay. Yes. So we, we know our, where our body is in space and time. That's the reason we practice our form. When we practice our form, there's no distraction. No one's gonna do things in front of you, okay? Let's say he attacks. The first thing I teach you is this, I got scared. I just wanna get used to the angle, get used to the position, train the form at my own pace to develop muscle memory. Someone said muscle memory before, but proprioceptive system, okay? So, those, so in our training system, when we do the form, that's we are training our proprioceptive and visual because we watch ourselves. In a drills punch, I do the same thing. Now I use visual and my tactile and my proprioceptive. When we are doing this, it's proprioceptive because I practice my forms for so many times. Uh, now let me do it. It's the same thing you just did. Maybe he, he wants to attack, I cover. Punch, I cover. See, I'm covering, I'm not catching. That's what practical Wing Chun, the idea of practical Wing Chun. Any, any questions?